was uh, a situation many, many years ago that uh, Roy Salzman and uh, some students of the University of Oregon came to Germany and they had a sort of a um, year, a cultural year in Europe, in Germany. We visited many choirs, concerts, and one of which was the concert and rehearsal of a conductor named Helmut Rilling. After the rehearsal, he invited me to his house, and that established communication from the very beginning. They came to my concerts in Stuttgart, and I got to know them. I taught some classes, and then Royce thought perhaps we could repeat such classes also in Eugene. I invited Helmut Rilling to come and uh, he do two master classes, one for conductors and one for organists, and to do a concert. And then it evolved. We began to expand it, and uh, we had no idea that what we have today would ever happen. At the beginning, friends came, but then the world got around and uh, people knew that this was a high-class festival, made very good music, and we had good musicians in the choir, in the orchestra, soloists, and so people wanted to get to know it, and came from many places. I think both Rilling and I would say that we're at the point now where we realize that a festival like this will go on after we're gone, but certainly at the beginning, um, this would not have happened without him. He's the catalyst that really makes this festival happen. And by that I mean his personality, his musicianship, really attracts first-class musicians.